Today, I launched an iOS app that I made 100% with AI. And I'm going to tell you exactly how I did it. Why did I make it? And how much money did I make? But before I can tell you that story, let me give you some context. I'm a software engineer. And in fact, I'm a pretty good engineer, actually. I work at Meta and I've won a bunch of hackathons and I've been coding for more than 10 years now. Now, this is not a video about me bragging or anything, but I just wanted to say that technically I could have built this entire app without any help with AI. The thing is for building apps, the issue is always time and energy. You see, I have an extremely busy and full life. I have two young boys, a beautiful wife that needs love and affection, and a very demanding job. Oh, and I also work on this YouTube channel on the side. But the thing is, I'm a builder at heart. I just absolutely love building things, whether that is software, woodworking, or 3D printing. I always just love to tinker and make stuff. I essentially have hundreds of unfinished projects that I have you know, started and forgotten about because you know, you lose steam after those few like first days of excitement. The problem with all of these projects that just go to the graveyard is that I just simply don't have the time or energy to see them through. So take a look at this. If you look at my free time, basically it's right here. Everything else in my entire life is either work or family. So I need to squeeze in everything I want to do for myself in these time slots. Notice that most of my free time is at night, right after I finish reading Harry Potter to my kids. These two to three hours are great, but it's also comboed with just being at the lowest point in my energy throughout the day. I just don't have any brain capacity to code essentially. And trust me, I tried, I tried everything. <laughs> but eventually I just got too burnt out and I just couldn't finish my side projects. But AI has changed everything. Vibe coding has come to my rescue essentially. And personally, AI coding has been extremely fun for me. These days, most of my nighttime activity has just been building a few features at a time with AI. And when I'm vibe coding, I kind of just feel like a PM, maybe an EM, maybe both at the same time. I just essentially prompt the AI to build something while I watch TV or work on some YouTube stuff. And I'm not really actively working on it. I'm just kind of prompting a few features and I come back to it. I check the results and adjust any prompts. And I just have these iterative cycles throughout the night. And the thing is, because I'm an engineer already, I think vibe coding has been pretty easy for me, honestly. Most of the time I can spot issues or bugs just by playing around with the results that the AI gives me. I don't actually have to read any of the code to get a general understanding of what's going on under the hood. You know, if there's a bug, I could kind of guess what's possibly have gone wrong. So yeah, if you were thinking that it's a waste of time these days to learn how to code because AI can do it all, I guarantee you that vibe coding will get a lot easier if you actually know how the sausage is made. So let's take a step back to my app. So what is it? Why did I make it? And how much money did I make? <laughs> That's the most important question, right? So my app is an anime themed Pomodoro app. Yes, a Pomodoro app. Pomodoro, for those of you that don't know, is essentially a technique. It's a method that essentially uses a timer to break down work into intervals. Typically, it's around 25 minutes in length and you take like, you know, a five to 10 minute short break in between. And one cycle of that is a Pomodoro. Now, you can choose any time that you want really for the study and the break. It really depends on you. The whole idea is that you have these cycles and intervals of Pomodoros. Honestly, I think it's a pretty good way to study. For me personally, because I'm an engineer, I really require kind of longer intervals, maybe two to three hours of deeper focus time. But you know, it's really great. So you should give it a try. I guess this is my first sponsored video and it's sponsored by me. <laughs> so download my free app. It's in the app store right now. Everything is free except the premium characters. So if you want to support this channel, buy the one like pack of premium characters. But yeah, so when I was researching the market for a good client-side app like this, like a Pomodoro app, I actually found a decent number of these Pomodoro apps. And you know, they're very popular. The thing is every single Pomodoro app that I saw had a subscription model. It was extremely annoying. And a lot of just the core features like stat tracking was essentially behind the subscription. So I decided to just pick a small niche. For example, anime. Essentially, that's what I did. I chose anime and I created a new Pomodoro app. Now, this app has all of the core features for free, unlike these other apps that require subscriptions. And you know, one thing that really came to mind when I was building this is there's this really famous business saying from Jeff Bezos, and it goes kind of like this, your margin is my profit. 
And I really took this kind of message to heart because the subscription models, they're like, I don't know, it's kind of useless <laughs> to be honest, but they're charging a lot for like almost nothing. So I should just give away everything for free and then just have essentially a donate button in a sense, but also give like a cherry on top, which is like premium characters and more music. But yeah, my app again is 100% free and I even added this like infinite looping anime character. It's essentially themed for like lo-fi music. I thought it was going to be fun and now I'm kind of working on this like whole side business on how to market this entire app. So if you're interested in something like that, subscribe. It will be on my vibe coding challenge playlist. But yeah, the monetization strategy for my app, as I was alluding to, is IAP, in-app purchases. So I just have more characters, more music, and they're all themed based on the characters. And honestly, I think it's a really fair price given the market research that I've done. It's just 10 bucks for all of the characters and all the music. But because of that, my app is like 500 megabytes, which I wasn't really looking into. You know, the thing is, I'm kind of embarrassed <laughs> to do this, but essentially I didn't want to have any maintenance on this app. So it's all client side. So that means I bundled all the music and everything just right with the app. But you know, you live and learn, Next time I'll just build a server and just maintain it. <laughs> As I was saying, I've documented a lot of this process. So go check out the vibe coding playlist. Here's some numbers and here's some stats of the first like week or so that I have had this app. I only like advertise it through my LinkedIn and other like social medias for like a day or two. And essentially I have a little over 30 downloads and I have one sale. 10 bucks or I guess 9.99 and then Apple takes 30%. <laughs> but yeah, it's essentially crawling right now, like the pace of downloads. But honestly, I don't care. It's something that I just made on the side with a few prompts. And it reminds me also that it's incredibly hard to get people to download apps. But hey, it's progress. And I was finally able to get one of these side projects that always ended up in the graveyard to a finished idea and something that I was able to publish to the app store. It feels incredibly rewarding, honestly. There's nothing quite like launching an app to the app store. If you've never done it before, it's just hard to kind of put into words what that feels like. I guess anyone who's run a business or sold something that they made on their own probably has similar feelings. But the thing about the app store is that it's just out there. It just can make money for you when you're sleeping. Also your work that's providing value to just some random person. And honestly, that's how some of my YouTube videos feel as well. But yeah, seeing your friends and family using it and asking for more features, it's always uh, really funny. Like already people are asking me to put like backgrounding and live activities. So I'm like kind of prompting that on the side right now. You know what was crazy? This whole process while I was preparing this app that I made for distribution, I actually found the first app that I ever launched to the App Store. It was still there. I think it got unpublished because I haven't maintained it, but my internal developer portal actually still had it and I was able to download it and play with it. It was like a memorial, you know, reminding me of like that first time when I only dreamed about being a software engineer. I built this before I was an engineer actually. Even before I went to my bootcamp, I basically followed like a Flappy Bird tutorial. I made some changes so that it's like vertical rather than horizontal. It's a silly app, but honestly, this is the one app that gave me enough motivation. It was like a big leap of faith to essentially quit my job and like give up half of my yearly income to pay for this bootcamp. You know, I've come such a long way since that 10, 11 years ago. I forget how long ago now. But yeah, this is how I launched my app. And I'm going to keep making apps. Now that I have like vibe coding kind of under wraps and I'm like getting better and I'm figuring more ways to like optimize and have AI do a lot more like things for me. I feel like I've unlocked another superpower and I'm planning to just take 100% advantage of it. So I highly encourage you guys to do the same. Thanks for watching this quick video. Please go and download my app. <laughs> Give me a good five star review, only five star reviews. Buy the premium characters if you want, as a tip to me, really. <laughs> more than anything. It's not going to make or break my like income, but it's just, I feel really appreciated. Honestly, I feel more happy about getting the $10 thing than seeing my big paycheck that comes in every two weeks. I don't know what it is, but it's just psychology. Also in the comments, give me some ideas for more interesting like apps that you want me to build. I'm really leaning on like client side apps. Basically, essentially, as long as I have a job, full tie job, I don't really want to have maintenance to take care of in terms of software because YouTube already is like a lot of work and I really enjoy YouTube and I want to continue to grow it.
And if you're interested in like the nitty gritty of how to build apps and stuff using like vibe coding, go ahead and check out my vibe coding playlist. Uh, essentially, I'm going to give away $100,000 <laughs> if I ever make $100,000. I guess I made $10 so far. So once I hit a thousand, I'm going to do my first giveaway. But yeah, I guess I'm less than 1% there. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for watching. And until I see you guys on the next one.